Alright guys, welcome back to uh, Captive Minecraft 4 Winter Realm. Alright, have we checked our chest we have? So now we've got this wood, we can get use this on torches, make sticks, get the coal, and make more torches. There we go. And then we go down into the into the the deep depths of the uh, of the world. When I say deep depths, the depths I mean uh, 50 blocks down because this world goes all the way down to bedrock. So uh, oh no, oh no, goodbye. So it's not really the deep depths. There's a creeper there. Oh, and there's a skeleton, and I don't have any blocks in my help bar. I need wood. That'll do. That'll do for now. I think we don't need to focus on any of these achievements for the minute. Um, besides the fish. Um, I think the fish one, I can probably do off camera and just catch the fish. Although, I could probably do it on camera just so you know that I've done it legit, I guess. Um, but I don't think we're supposed to be focusing on achievements anymore. I think we just need to light up the area which we have got like access to and then from there put that in my offhand and then from there we'll just get achievements as we go on I think um, remember that there's a creeper behind here hey dude oh 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 Oh, no. There we go. Alright. So as we go further down, we're going to get more and more mobs, which is just obvious because it's really dark down here. There's a witch about, which I'm not not excited about at all. Um, there's another skeleton here. Kill him. Um, Alright, so... We'll gather this coal, um, and there's a little bit of iron over here as well that I spotted. Uh, we'll take this. What's back here? Is this anything, or is this just iron that I missed earlier? Yeah. Um, all right. So now, oh, hey, there's the witch. Oh, he poisoned me. She poisoned me. We need to light up this area. Oh, we got far more coal, some raw mutton, and some golden nuggets. This poison's gonna hurt me probably for a long time. She hit me full in the face with the poison, so of course it's gonna take me to maybe even one heart. Who knows? Nah, it's not. It's not gonna get me to one heart. Sweet. Uh, we'll light up there, in there, and oh, that's some glass clay. That's clay that we were after. And that's our last piece, and that'll make us the red clay. Um, so we'll go up and do that now. Alrighty, so we're just on our way up to the top now to uh, smell uh, the l smelt the last of this clay, so that we can make the um, the red clay, the red hardened clay, and stick that on the monument. And then we should get a reward pop up here. And I hope you enjoyed, I don't know, my commentary style. Um, it's, I'm kind of new to commentary, so uh, I, I don't know whether I've done a good job or I've done a bad job. I know that I have said er a lot, but that's something that I can easily, easily fix. Um, what was that up there? It, it just comes with practice, really. And also, I sometimes I've struggled with getting like my point across, like... I didn't know what I was saying at times. I didn't know where I was going with what I was saying at times. I think that's what I mean. Um, see, see, I've just done it again. All right, we got the red stained clay. Um, it goes on here. the The three blocks have gone. I'm gonna hop, jump here, and place these. Complete that monument. Very good. And then we'll go to the top. See what we've got. See if we've got any nice prizes. And we got mushrooms. Very good. That's food. That's food for for life. 
food for life here, right here, right now. Alright guys, we're back in Captive Minecraft for Winter Realm. And this is a different recording session. Um, and yeah, at the end of the last episode we got these mushrooms. I did um, cut last episode off a little bit early, so that's why... I went off on one just like just now pretty much in the video about my commentary style because I was ending the video asking how you'd like my commentary style but I just left that in there just because um, but yeah at the end of the last episode we got these mushrooms um, and also we got these four beetroot soups they were uh, also a, a reward so that means that we got infinite food pretty much for the rest of the gameplay um, how much wood have I got? I've got three logs. So we'll go down here, um, and we'll see... Actually, we'll put some stuff away in these chests first. I, I always do that. I always start to, like, go down and then realize, no, I need to come back up again, and I need to, uh, I need to do some actual stuff at the surface instead of just going down. So what ideally I want to do is I want to trap these guys in fences, um, and have just a little cage, a little enclosure fenced off for them. So I could just breed them openly and have just a mushroom farm. Um, so that I can get the cow tipper achievement and the repopulation achievement. Because I don't really want them just running around, just causing havoc everywhere. Um, I want them enclosed in a tiny little space. And they can be my bitches. It's that simple. Alright, so I think um, we'll just... I think we need to make another chest... Um, in fact, no, we don't need to make another chest. We just grab this one. Um, and then we can take this and get rid of this furnace. Put the chest down. Put the furnace next to that. And then we can throw the rest of this stuff, which we don't need, in here. Um, we want the cobblestone. We want the... We'll keep a couple of rabbit stews. Um, and then we'll put the boots on. Throw the sticks in here, the hoe in here, and the wood in here, and then we'll go. We'll have a look, see what else is down in this mysterious cave. Yeah, I know this is the Room of Monuments. There you can see that this is the start of a new session, because that pops up every time you start a new session. Um, so, there's some iron there, can't get access to that. Um, there's some iron here, not got access to that either. Um, what's under here? Sugar cane, that's all the way over there. We do want that for the cake, but that's such a long way away. It seems like it's unachievable at the moment, but we'll do it. We'll get there in the end. Um, so I guess we'll just start digging down. I don't think there's anything else around in this cave for me um, to, that I really want. Um, so I guess I'll just dig down, um, unless I have an achievement that I need to focus on. Um, Oh, I'm on the wrong account. I have two accounts. I'm on an alt account. Um, this is Ned Flanders. Hey, I have the Ned Flanders account as well. Just Ned Flanders. There we go. So, I'll be back in a sec. <laughs> um, I'll log back in as Excessus. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Horrible. Alright, so, <laughs> we're back as Excessus now. And I think now is actually a good time to check the achievements. Um, see what I've done. See what I haven't done. Um, diamonds, I... I think diamonds will be lowered down. Cake, can't get that. Don't have sugar. I don't even have access to 50 meters, so I can't do that. Um, so I guess it's time to just start digging down. Um, where's our staircase at? Here it is. Um, in fact, instead of having it there, we'll put this pickaxe there, and then we'll go against this back border wall. Um, in fact, do you want it? Yeah, we'll, we'll just do it here. No, we won't. We'll do it here. Because I can't place torches in that block, I don't think. No, I can't. Oh, I don't even have torches on me. Why did I try? And then say, no, I can't. Oh, clay! Did I not see this before? We need one more achievement before we can get access to this second... No, we need two more achievements before we get access to this second bunch of clay. Um, and that'll probably be the diamonds and the fish... Because, um, well, if I go down, I'll probably hit diamonds reasonably quick. Uh, can I place these there? Yeah, I can. Um, and then the fish, 
I can just, I could even do that now, I guess, if I wanted to. Could I? Do I have string? I don't know if I have enough string for a fishing rod. I think I might, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, but we'll keep mining down. I don't know if you can hear that, but we can probably hear that one. There is zombies close by. It seems like they're in this ear. Might even be still a bit downwards. So we'll go back up here, back to the surface, and get a new pick, and then store all this useless stuff that we don't need. Um, have any trees grown as well? That'd be that'd be useful if a tree had grown. Um, yep, two trees have grown, both oak trees. That's good. Um, and I think now we can make an axe as well. Uh, we got three sticks. Unfortunately, we've. Uh, I think once we made this axe, we need to bring this crafting table back to the actual surface and not in the room of monuments. Um, so let's do that. Let's also light this place up a bit um, because we don't want mobs spawning in here. And this is this is the like the home room. We want that to be as bright as we can. Um, so we'll get this wood and then we'll use this wood to make some more torches I think um, because you can never have too many torches that's what I've found um, torches are always good to have good to hold, good to touch, good to taste how much wood have we got? we got 13 so we only need these two for a full stack um, but we don't have enough coal for that I don't think we want to use all the coal either because we need to smelt um, this clay when we get access to that. So in fact, we'll leave we'll leave one in there, um, and then we will use the rest on torches, I suppose. Going to go in here and string. Do we have any string at all? We've got no string, not a single piece of string. After all those spiders I've killed, I think I've only killed two spiders, but even so, not even a one string or one spider. I that's that's a pitiful attempt. That is a pitiful attempt. We'll take this chest, because um, that seems to be getting in the way. Um, take it up here and just stick it in there. Um, and then we'll head back down into the depths of the unknown. I came back down here, I came back up here so that I could get a new pickaxe, and I came back down with only an axe. How useful. Right, come back up, stick the crafting table there. I uh, don't have any sticks, but we do have wood, so we'll make that, then we'll make that, and we'll make sticks, and then we'll make a stone pickaxe. In fact, we'll make two, because I'm feeling adventurous. We'll make two. And then that can go there, that can go there, and that can go there. That can go there, there, there. Sapling in there, torch in the offhand, and then we'll go. I need to eat. Delicious. And then we'll come back down and we'll staircase a bit more, try and find some more cave to explore. Um, another thing that I realised when I was editing last episode um, was it was very dark and um, that was due to two things. One, I was playing on Moody, uh, <laughs> so of course it's going to be dark, um, but I've turned that up to bright now. And two, where are these mobs at? They seem to be really close. Right down there. No. They do. How close do they seem to you? Because they seem really close to me. Are they in this part? Like under, under there. I don't know. And also, uh, it's it was dark because I wasn't placing torches very often. I wasn't placing torches often enough. And we'll just hit some more iron, which is good. We want as much iron as we can get our hands on. Um so that we can get... Oh, there are the mobs that we've been looking for. I'll smack your feet. Come on. Come on. Smack the feet. Smack the feet. Smack the feet. I love the new sword swiping mechanic. Jesus, how many zombies does there want to be? I'm happy as I'm doing it this method instead of storming into the... Um, instead of storming in to the... Oh, 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 that was a bad idea. I'm trying to take them on myself. Oh, we found a dungeon. We found a dungeon, guys. Um, oh, 
probably going to light this up and then try and use it as a uh, XP grinder so that when I do get enchantment, um, I've always got an access to XP when I need it. Um, I don't know if there's much point in that because I don't know how long this series will be. Oh, we've got a lot more bones, that's useful. Gunpowder, not so useful. Coal and melon seeds, they'll be useful in the future. Um, anything with this dungeon, what do we want to do with it? Nothing at the moment. We we'll take this iron, and we've just located the yellow die. So that's the next die that we'll use. Um, we've got yellow, and we've got red, and the next one we have access to is blue. After we've done the yellow, so I think we'll find lapis sometime soon. We'll light this up down here. Um, I'm so close, and yet so far to that chest. Um, but yeah. We've got access to that dungeon now, and I've just spotted some clay up here, which is just out of reach. It's always the case. There's two that I can get, but the other two I can't get, unfortunately. Oh, there's one. Is there another one that I can, that I can get? Yeah, there we go. And we, I think now we've got eight clay. Um, so I got the ye yellow dye from down here. So now we'll go back to the surface, cook this up with the other clay that we got from earlier, and then we'll have yellow dye. Alright, so we're back at the surface. My old friend Mushroom, and Mushroom 2, and Mushroom 3. Um, <laughs> and we've just checked this chest, we got 16 clay here. Make this into clay blocks, and we'll use this one coal. Oh, we already had a coal in my inventory, never mind. Um, get this wheat. There we go, some seeds, um, and I think we can, it's time to move this farm over to this water, because um, that would be very, well, it would be helpful, I think. We'll break this ice, and then we will, um, yeah, where's the hoe? Get the hoe out of here, and then we'll hoe this ground, three, four, five, six, I don't know, I guess that'll do. No, we don't want it there. One there. Uh, any more seeds in here? Yep. Seeds. Perfect. We'll grab this potato that didn't seem to be growing at all there. Um, and also we got uh, we got melon seeds now. So we can put that up there. We'll grow that up to full maturity. So that melons can grow whenever they want. And also we want two potatoes so they can grow all the time um, and we'll eat pork chop and cut down this tree so now that we've got a decent access a decent amount of wood uh, how much we got we got 19 I think we'll take 10 of them turn them into planks turn that many into sticks then make fences how many will that make I think we only need 15 and then a fence gate because now that we've got the crops growing out in the wild we don't want these mobs running about trampling on them so um, one two three four um, how big is this and then you go in there one two three four five nice no, 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 you stay in there. You stay in there. Oh, well, I'll just get my wheat. Um, alrighty then, come in here. Come into this little enclosure. This is where you live for the rest of your days. You can come too, Mr. Mushroom. You can come through into here. There we go. And we'll take that off there. And put that back in there. And move this sapling away to, like, up here, I guess. And we got our mushrooms enclosed. Um, although I do want the the gate on this side here instead of back here. Oh well, we'll leave it there for now. Um, and then I think, um, do I have access to the repopulation? No, I I got cow tipper. So hopefully one of these guys. Hopefully when I kill this guy, and give me some leather. Hashtag pray for. Excesses. Let's go. Oh, there we go. That's what we wanted. We wanted the cow tipper. 
We got the cow tipper. Now we will breed these guys. And then we can get a little baby mushroom. Very good. Now we got two. Oh, what did I get there? I don't know what I got. Um, we got two achievements just really quickly. Um, we got the hardened clay. We got the dye, the yellow dye. Now we'll make that into yellow, yellow stained clay. Put that in the hot bar. Take it down to the room of monuments. And where is the yellow, the yellow one? It's not that one. It's this one, the one without the the thing. Alrighty, what are we getting? What are we getting? What's new? What's fresh? We're up at the surface. Sheep. It sounds like it sounds to me like we got some sheep. We got a yellow sheep. We got a cat. He's trying to run away, but he can't. Um. So what will this sheep be useful for? I mean. Wool, but unless I have another sheep, then I only have access to yellow wool because or white wool. Yeah, wool, and then I can make a bed, and I can sleep through the night if I want to. Yeah, that's good. I don't know what polar bears are useful for, but I'll keep him because he he just seems to be hanging out. He doesn't seem to be doing any any harm. Um, he's just hanging out, just having a good time, aren't you, mate? Aren't you? Yeah, you are. All right. Let's go back to down to the depths, and I'll meet you back by the dungeon. So I say, uh, before, before I go back down to the, the dungeon, that I'm putting my stuff away, and I've realised that we got this spectral, these five spectral arrows. I don't know how they'll come in handy, but I guess they will. Um, and I'm going to smelt up this iron ore as well, and then make an iron pick because then I'll have twelve iron. I've got a lot of iron. It's, I just do. Alright, so I was on my way back down to the dungeon um, when I realised that we'd done two achievements at the top and we probably have access to a lot of things that we didn't do before, including this clay. So we'll take this, um, and I think, oh, has this got five pieces in it? It did. That's good. Um, is there any ores that I, I, there's one iron here that I can get? Um, anything on this side? Anything on this side at all? Uh, nearly? No, that's not nearly. That's two achievements time. Um, nothing on this side. And what about the back side? Anything? Nothing. Alright. So, uh, now we'll go down and we'll have a look at what we have access to down by the dungeon. Because if I seem to remember correctly, there was clay. Yeah, there was. Um, and now, we should have access to um, if once we get some lapis we can get some blue stained clay and finish the last of the monuments oh I didn't check this before when I came to this dungeon did I? Uh, two bones, four bones, two rotten flesh, a gold horse armor and coal we'll take this as well um, and we'll come down here do we have access to anything? this chest mm, that's five achievements time um, nothing else that way, I don't think. So, we'll come back around to this staircase that we have, and then we'll keep going down. See what else we can find. Oh, what's this? Oh, that was, must have been from when I pillared that, when I fell down and pillared back up again. I don't know. I don't know, man. Alright, so I've continued pillaring, uh, staircasing down, not pillaring down, and uh, came across this area. It's just a pool of water, I guess. Um, I didn't want to explore it without without being recording. What's that? Is that a melon? Listen, why is a melon down here? Uh, oh, it's a sponge. I see. Um, is that clay? Ah, oh, there's a lot of clay in this room. Very good. Um, times like these, it would be handy to have a shovel, but it's all right. We'll uh, just break it all with our fists. We'll we'll get it in the end. Um, but yeah, we're, we're there's plenty of clay down here, which is very very useful for completing the monument. Now we can probably finish once we get access to. Uh, the actual monuments themselves, 
Um, we could probably finish, I don't know, maybe two more, three more monuments just from the clay here in this room. Is there any more that I'm missing? And then we will... I carry on mining. I was going to say go back to the surface, but I don't see much point in that. Um, let's block off some of this. And... Oh, man, this water really is a pain. Um, oh, now I need to block this and this and this. Is that the last of what I'll need to do? I think so. Let's go. I can hear a lot of creatures. Um, and they don't sound friendly. They sound very frightening, to be honest. Um, we'll light it up because it's getting a bit dark. Um, it seems to me like they're over there. Because I can hear the skeleton's bones just rattling around. I'm just going to continue digging down. Oh. <laughs> Jesus, man. That was frightening. But it, it sounds like we're going to be in, in for a treat right here. Um, it seems to me like there's a lot of mobs around here. Block that. That's going to be useful for us to um, get bones and get arrows. Um, so instead of the zombie spawner at the top, it may be better to just use this skeleton spawner. Because I then I can get... Um, oh, there's some clay. Because with that skeleton spawner I can get bones, I can get arrows, and I can get XP as well. So, and that's much better than rotten flesh. Unless, unless I have a villager which trades emeralds, which I doubt, uh, which trades for rotten flesh, which I doubt I'm going to get. Can I not place that there? I guess not. Um, yeah, bones and arrows are much better than the rotten flesh. Oh no. Oh no. A lot of skeletons are after me right now. And it's not nice. Alright. So we've got three skeletons down there. How are we going to take them out? I guess we'll find out in the next episode.